Good day one and all, how are you all going? Welcome to day 766 looking at my bees and my beehives. Yeah, and it's a beautiful morning and we've got a new gadget before we go any further. It's a muddy zapper and a moth zapper. So I'm hoping this is going to work and it'll keep all, that's something we put on last night. And so far what we got there. So I'm hoping that it'll take care of the mozzies and the, um, the mozzies and the moths. So we just, oh basically when it's not too windy I can leave it on the table, when it's too windy I can, oh, I can drop it on the ground but during the dark keep it on the table. And it's waterproof um, and all that but I've got to get a proper waterproof box for it down there for the um, plug so I can actually put it out further in the garden somewhere. But let's go have a look at the bees shall we and see how the lovely young ladies are going. It's warm. Um, it was a bit cool when I first came out, but the sun's coming out now, warming everything up. It is a beautiful day. There's no air around. I'm hoping all the mozzies will go towards there and get tracked towards that, and I don't get any bees or anything in there. That's what I'm hoping. So they'll get rid of the moths. Yeah. Clear poo from a bird or something. Or not just water. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think I want to touch that. <laughs> Let's touch that. I don't. That's a non tasting thing. Uh, oh, wow, that. Wow, look at the colour of the pollen. Look how orange that is. Look how it looks the entrance. And look at that colour of that orange pollen. Wow. They're going like a bit out of health. Which is fantastic to see. And they're here. I just want them to dry out this. Dry out all this so I can actually um, harvest it. But, uh, so they can cap it and harvest We can harvest it then. But I'm not worried about it. Looking good, there's no doesn't seem to be any problems with the hive, no ants crawling on it. Probably have to put some water in those cups again. But other than that, I'm not no. I'm overly worried. That does look weird, doesn't it? It looks like a honey drop up. Hmm. Ah, oh, we have a beetle. I'm gonna have to. I haven't seen one for a while. But we have a beetle. Probably kill that before I take the photos of it. I've got to pause this video and go. Yeah, I'll, I'll kill that. Oh, I don't want to take the risk. I'll pause this video and we'll have a quick look at the next hive, shall we? Welcome back. Now let's have a look at these bees to see how they're going. What I might do is just clean this out and put some more sugar water into that today. Uh, but then of course it changes other bees from the hives. But I don't want to have it too much for them to rely on. But if they're bringing in pollen, look at that, look at that colour. Oh wow. They're bringing in some beautiful coloured pollen. We have an ant on here. That's not good. Okay, I'm going to have to put some water in those, into those cups. I'll check that, make sure the ants aren't making it their home. Figure that out and make sure the ants aren't going to be a problem for this hive. Only one ant, but I'll put water in these cups today. Making sure there's a spider there, but that's about it. I'll have a very good look at that. I don't think I don't want them here is ants. Okay, well, actually, so that and a lot of other pests, but. Ants is one of the main things I don't want to do here because 
Yeah, that coal in here, I mean, very, very not very good at all for bees. <laughs> I mean, I might not put sugar water into the hive yet. If I do that, that might encourage the ants to come in here. I'm trying to avoid that. And one ant. Oh, they seem to be doing okay. I'll fix this up and uh, we'll get it all looked after. Yeah. Oh well, I'm happy about that. Oh, you all take it easy. Well, have a great day. Thank you again for watching my videos and all comments are welcome.